Joining us today, Brent Hurst and Craig Payment with the Eat Healthy, Eat Local Foundation in St. John's. We're here to talk about the fifth annual fall festival happening in St. John's. Brent, what is the mission of Eat Healthy, Eat Local before we get to the, get to the uh, festival? Well, well, the main, the main event uh, is uh, to connect the communities with resources for local food. And we host events like the Fall Festival to bring Michigan food companies directly to the consumer. Uh, local food is healthier than truck ripened produce because uh, it's generally picked early and transported across the country. Yeah. A lot of people are discovering in the community that they find uh, their favorite farms right in their backyard, which, mm -hmm. is, which is really great. Or they might find a new product that they'd enjoy. Uh, the food trucks bring a lot of followers and it fills the downtown full of uh, people and, and brings people from all over Michigan uh, yeah. to visit our, our downtown. So yeah. it's really neat. Yeah. Craig, talk about how people can help your nonprofit and, and maybe tell them a little bit more about it. Yep. So the biggest way that people can help is attend our events, like yeah. the Fall Festival coming up uh, in September. So, um, you know, that and when they're there, participate in games. Um, we do a food truck war where they can vote for their favorite food truck. Um, and then, you know, buy merchandise and they can make donations to the uh, foundation as well sure. via, you know, per in person or uh, in the mail or even on our website. Yeah. Um, also, the, just to mention the Kroger rewards, uh, we are part of that. So if they want to select us as uh, their uh, charity when they buy stuff, that oh. portion of their funds will be donated to the Eat Healthy Eat Local Foundation. Okay. It, it doesn't cost the Kroger shop or anything just to assign us as their nonprofit. Yeah. That's great. It's, okay. It's really cool. neat. Yeah. Well, Brent, talk about how the foundation has, what the impact the foundation has had on your community in St. John's? Well, it's brought a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, number one, uh, the, the annual Fall Festival uh, brings a lot of fun to the streets of St. John's. Uh, we've got food vendors and attendees coming from all over, all over the great state. And yeah. uh, all the proceeds uh, that come through these uh, events go into grants uh, to facilitate the opening of a health food store and also uh, other health, healthy restaurants. Yeah. Uh, in our town, and we, we, we're going to do this in St. John's first and then spread to other communities as we move along. So. Oh, good. All right. So the, the fifth annual Fall Festival is happening in St. John's September the 21st, yeah. right? Yep. All day event, family friendly. What are some of the things happening real quick? Yep. So we'll have live entertainment. Uh, mm -hmm. There will also be tons of games. Uh, this year we partnered with Zap Zone, who's going to be bringing games oh. for families and play <laughs> and everything too. So yeah. Um, we, yeah. Community dining. We have a uh, low. We have four uh, music acts from the local area here that people can come and enjoy. Yeah, and yeah. Yep. It's free to come. So awesome. Sixty vendors total, and looking forward to it. Yeah. Find out more. Eat healthy. Eatlocal.com. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, you